day four lava lamps. So what we're going to do today is we're going to simulate an underwater volcano. So I have put baby oil into one of our little cups and then this is just water with some food dye put in there. And the reason that this is going to make a little lava lamp is because the water and oil do not mix. Um, the oil is hydrophobic, water fearing, so they're not going to mix together. Well, back in the times of Noah, um, you might have heard this story. God sent a flood, okay? And during this flood, there were likely underwater volcanoes that opened up. So, I'm going to put in some of this colored water, okay, and I'm going to put in just a part, like a half or so, of an Alka-Seltzer type of tablet, and we are going to see it, and in a minute, we should, I might add a little bit more, the kids can add whatever, a scoop or two, and they're going to see, see it going up and down, like the lava flow. We are doing sea snakes. Um, this one, there is a warning, so be, be cautious of this. You have to prep your sea snakes in the baking soda water up for like 20 to 30 minutes before you do this so that enough of the baking soda will absorb onto the worm. But if you go much over that, your worms are going to start to melt and it's going to be a really slimy mess. So prep on this one is a little touchy you want to start prepping the next group when your current group is in you don't want to wait you want you want to make sure you watch that timer okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to get some gummy worms and we are going to cut them into 12 pieces well i guess it would depend on how long your gummy worm is but you want to just have your gummy worm quartered lengthwise i went ahead and cut mine um, widthwise first, just because it was easier to cut the lengthwise with smaller pieces. So you just want to cut your gummy worm into small, thin pieces, because if they're too heavy, they're not going to dance well for the kids. So then once you have your gummy worms cut, you're going to have that prepped. You're going to add just a tablespoon of baking soda and a tablespoon of water into your Petri dish and soak your worms, remember, only for 20 to 30 minutes. Then what the kids are gonna do, when they come in, you will have for them some vinegar in a cup. And then they will take some tweezers, because it's kind of yucky, a little bit messy, and they will get some gummy worms and put them into the vinegar. And let's see if we can get any of these sea snakes to go dancing in here for us. Now, when I think of snakes, ooh, serpents, oh, there they are, they're dancing. Satan, Garden of Eden, all of that with sin. But lucky for us, there is an exit plan in Jesus. <laughs> 